Greeting, Astrophiles. This is Pat Cosgrove for Cosgrove's Cosmos. Today, we're going to take a look at the next phase of construction of my observatory project where we've made good progress. So, let's get started. The roof trusses are in place, but they need to be squared and adjusted, braced, and then parallons have to be mounted so that the roofing can be applied. At the same time, the rest of the track must be laid on the steel framework and welded. While this is going on, the welding is being completed on the framework. For the very first time, we unbolted the roof and moved it along its track. It was a little bumpy because there were some rough spots from the welding. Using a grinder and a sander, we took off the worst of that and opened the roof to its full extent. It moved pretty smoothly, but we still had some bumps to work on, and once the roof was open, we went back in and really polished down the track a bit more. The biggest bumps we found came where the two sections of V-Track were welded together. Once we ground those smooth, the whole track became much smoother in its action. Despite its weight, the roof could be easily pushed by a single person walking on a scaffold at the back, pushing from one corner of the framework. Things were working really well. Now it was time to start putting the plywood cladding on the building. This stiffens up the building and making it a bit more weatherproof as we go forward. With the cladding almost done, it's time to start finishing the roof. Putting the grip edges on first, then the panels have to be punched so that the screw holes necessary to mount them on the roof are in place, then we can start installation. While many pole barn installations don't use it, I opted for a thermal blanket being installed under the metal sheets. This helps with heat transfer and condensation.
The roof panels are now all installed, but we still don't have the roof vent installed, nor do we have the end caps. So the next step is to get the cladding done on the gables. In order to do this, we have to finish the framing of the back gable. Finally, we can install the ridge vent and the roof is then completed. With the roof in place, the building is becoming more weatherproof. The next step is to wrap the building and then put in the windows. With the roof done, we decided to test it again. After all, we just added quite a bit more weight with the steel panels on the top, the ridge vent, and all the trim pieces. The roof still opened pretty smoothly. At this point, the building is pretty much built and is fairly weatherproof. So we're now ready for the next phase of construction. Thanks for spending some time with me today. We'll continue to work on the observatory project. The next step is to get the vinyl siding on, get the electrical in, and get a slab poured. So stay tuned. This is Pat Cosgrove signing off for Cosgrove's Cosmos. I hope you have clear skies and excellent seeing.